The effort to recall California Governor Gavin Newsom is gaining support across the Golden State when America's Pearson Sharp sits down with the campaign organizers. Recalling California Governor Gavin Newsom has become a rallying cry for residents across the state since he took office early last year. One American News spoke with the leaders of the latest campaign to remove the governor, Recall Gavin 2020. The organizers say they're trying to give people a chance to change the radical direction California is headed in. Well, it seems like if there were ever going to be a time to recall the governor, if people were ever going to have the reasons they needed to recall the governor, now would be the time. Well, now is when you're experiencing all of those reasons like a tsunami. They're all hitting at, at, at the same time. And what's amazing is that, you know, the meme, you have one job. Well, a governor has got to give you uh, prosperity and safety yep. and competency, and he has given us none, even before coronavirus hit. So we've been talking about what Governor Newsom hasn't been doing. Uh, Trump called him the do-nothing governor. <laughs> what has he been doing then? Why do the people of California want to get rid of their governor so badly? So the criminals get out of jail. Is that <laughs> what Newsom's been doing? So the criminals are allowed to leave the prisons. I can't leave my house to work. And if you can stay in your house and work, you can't be an independent contractor. Your kids can't go to school and your small businesses can't open. So it's really hard to say what Gavin has been doing and hasn't been doing. He's basically not allowing the citizens of California to do much of anything, unless of course you commit a crime. Then it seems you can do kind of what you want. It's a complete dictatorship with capricious rules. I'd even be okay with a benevolent dictatorship <laughs> if the trains ran on time and the power was on. But since he can't manage those basic things, I think people are very disappointed. And that's one of the big things is the power. Because back in 2003, that was one of the main reasons that Gray Davis, the only other governor who's ever been recalled, was recalled because he couldn't keep the power on. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a baseline level of service that you expect. And when you pay the tax rates that we pay in California, which we highest. all know, the highest yeah. in the nation for everything, um, and you get services that aren't as good as a third world country, and I'm from a third world country, so I can say that, we, didn't, we don't run things like this. Another big issue that's probably first and foremost on everyone's minds right now, and what has probably turned a lot of people political who weren't before, is his response to the coronavirus. What are your thoughts on that? I think people are angry and I think they've had enough to epic levels. I have never seen anything like this. They have overplayed governance uh, to the point where those who are being governor, governed are not, are, are not going to support anybody who behaves that way as a leader again, ever. This movement was started by the people, the people in the middle. Um, and literally, again, has crossed. It, I've never seen anything unite California like the recall of the governor. What are some major obstacles that you're facing? Uh, time and money, I'd say at this point. You have this many volunteers, you've got to give them signs. You've got to print petitions. You've got to distribute petitions. You've, you've got all these different things, and then that's all before you can even reach out and grab all the people who are like, hey, I want to help, I don't know where to go, so. What is your message to the people of California? I think California is worth fighting for. Yes, there are people who go, California. But the truth is, as Ann said, stuff that happens in California does not stay here. And when we have the wacky laws that you and other states may like to laugh at and the fiats and the, the weird rules, companies only print one set of textbooks and they're going to be California compliant. They're going to make, you know, products that are California compliant. We will destroy by infecting the rest of the country. So if you're in another state, send money to the recall movement so that it stops here. Yeah. yeah. This is probably one of the last chances California has to really change the direction of the state. Um, recalling Gavin Newsom is our way of taking California back to the Californians and getting the will of the people done. It has to be done. And we can have a new governor by March. Pearson Sharp. One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.